The Scorched Continent by Megan E. O'Keefe. Book One, Steal the Sky. Deaton Hunding is a wanted con man of noble birth and nimble tongue. He and his trusted companion Tibbs may have pulled off one too many cons against the elite in the oasis city of Aransa. To make a quick escape, Deaton has accepted an assignment to pull off their biggest heist yet, to steal the beautiful new airship of the exiled Commodore Thratia Ganal. He wrestled with his belt pouch and tossed it up to his companion. Tibbs poured the contents out in his wide, flat hand, barely able to contain all the fingernail-sized grains of copper and silver. Mighty fine hole, but may I ask, who's going to be hunting us down to get it back? You lack faith, old friend. That there is a genuine upfront payment from Watch Captain Rip Kaleshi herself. <laughs> payment for what? She's hired us to steal Thratia's lovely new airship, the Larkspur, of course. Seems the ex-Commodore is getting a mite too comfortable here in Aransa and needs to be shown her place. Are you getting any good eyes on the ship? The thing is beauty wrought of plank and sail, made of a half a dozen woods I can't even identify. Even the tie ropes are soft as silk, the stabilizing wings made of the supplest leather I've ever seen. Softer than the Commodore's hands, that's for sure. It's gorgeous, Tibbs, gorgeous! Well, now that we know you've the proper appreciation for the aesthetics, can we move on to the part where we steal it? The scheme is complicated by the presence in the city of a face-changer known as a Doppel, who may have infiltrated the peacekeeping forces of Watch Captain Ripka Leshy. I feel you're rather missing the salient point, however. What was really interesting about last night, Tibbs, was the freckles. The freckles? Indeed! Yesterday morning's Ripka had none, and yet the real deal at the party was quite spattered with them. And the second Ripka, the one who threw me in the clink, had sprouted freckles as well. <sighs> Sounds like a mess. Maybe we should just take the money and move along. Make off with Ripka's money? She'd have us hanged if we ever showed up here again. More like ever our heads lopped off. In the middle of Deaton's scheme, the Doppel starts murdering key members of Aransa's government. Sir? Are you in there, sir? Hurry up, man. Suddenly he stopped short, realizing that the face was not familiar. I know all my men, and I don't know you. The blade buried itself to the hilt in his guts. Was that really necessary? The killings create paranoia, complicating Deaton's plans. And with the sudden power vacuum, Thratia can solidify her power and wreak havoc against the Empire. Evening, Commodore. It will be warden soon, Hunding. If you can keep the Larkspur to yourself. Are you attempting to threaten me? There's a doppel in this city. And she is going to steal the Larkspur. And just how do you propose to keep my ship safe from this nefarious creature? Why, you're going to put me in charge of your security staff. <laughs> I already know full well there is a double in the city handing. What I'm not buying is that I'd risk getting tangled up with someone like you. Rumors of revolt spread through the city. She wants an excuse to seize control immediately. Right. What can I do? Rat out her little game. Can you do that? <laughs> It'll be a pleasure. Has Deaton accidentally walked into a revolution or a crusade? Secure the ship! Make sure no one escapes! <laughs> one tie gave way. Two. Three. The ship gaining freedom in rapid succession. The Larkspur broke free, sliding out into the night. Deaton snapped a hand out, grabbed the rope and slid down it, skin burning and tearing, and his grip growing slick with the lubrication of his own blood. <laughs> Deaton's grip strained, burned. His hand felt bathed in fire, but there was little he could do save to keep holding on. He clenched every last measly muscle in his body and fell anyway. <laughs> if his secret is discovered, he'll have more to worry about than a stolen airship. Don't miss Steal the Sky, the first episode of The Scorched Continent by Megan E. O'Keefe, now in graphic audio.